What is up guys? How is everybody doing? I am Tiff. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out. This is going to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force it to fit your situation. If you would like a personal, all that information is in the description box below. Let's get right into this spirit, ancestors, and guides. Let's see what is going on in this connection at this time. Spirit, ancestors, and guides for the collective. What is going on in the collective's energy at this time? Spirit, what is blocking this con collective's connection at this time? Mixed feelings towards you. They feel in they need emotional clarity. So this person does have mixed feelings for you, okay? It's almost like you have your guard up towards this person, okay? So it's like this person thinks that you are mysterious. Like it's hard to read you. I'm definitely feeling this energy where it's like somebody feels like it's very, very hard to read you because you have your guard up okay and this person does like they want to fall in love with you they want to go in head over heels for you but that's where those mixed feelings and those mixed mixed feelings come up it's because they need some more emotional clarity on your part I feel like you hold back from this relationship and I'm just being honest okay you could have been hurt in the past you could be wary of you know being played by people it is what it is you know I'm not judging you but there is a situation where your person feels, and this is different from the normal readings, you know, your person is feeling like you have your guard up and like they don't have the emotional clarity from you, you know, and they want to, it's almost like they want to know, like maybe you don't tell them you love them all the time and you're not very touchy feely and emotional and mushy. Okay. And that's okay. Um, shit i'm heavy fire sign i'm heavily masculine in my chart okay so i understand that completely okay um but it, you know and it's almost like this person could be and that could be an issue like your this person can be like very emotional or very loving or whatever it is and you're kind of not as or they want this relationship and and let let it be known but you kind of hold back a little bit it's okay but this person does feel like they need this emotional clarity from you. Um, and so it brings them back and forth when it comes to their feelings for you. Moving too fast. There's a rush of love. So here's the feminine on this energy. And see, I feel like this is your energy. Because I'm feeling like you're feeling like it's moving too fast. Like this person is rushing in. And so this is where, could, where your guard can come up. Because it's like, Lord, this person, they're all in. You know, they want a relationship. Everything seems good. Um, but you're not giving anything in return. And you could be feeling like, nah, man, hold up. You feel like this shit is moving way too fast. You could have been just recently hurt in the past. Just gotten out of a bad relationship done been hurt in the past you don't want to rush into anything too fast and end up getting hurt okay so it's not that your guard is up because you know you're trying to play games with not anybody your guard is up because exactly what i had said you know you've been hurt you feel like shit is is just moving along too fast with this person and i feel like they you know they do want this connection you know they want to go all in but you just feel like, okay, I don't want to rush things. I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to move too fast. And so this causes them to be like, damn, there's that mysterious energy coming in. Like, okay, well, I know she wants a relationship, but she holds back. Like, it, it, then they start overthinking and wondering, okay? We have lack of harmony, not in alignment with you. So right now, there could be no harmony between the two of you. And it could be because you want to take things slow, you know, you don't want to rush into anything. And this person could be trying to push the issue of a relationship, okay? And you could be just being like, bro, you don't understand, you know, I've been through a lot. And, you know, even if it's the same person that put you through all that shit, like, we done been through too much. I don't want to motherfucking just rush in to this connection again, you know? And so then they feel like you don't love them like they love you. And then this this creates this lack of harmony in this relationship. And I feel like you guys aren't in alignment. Because it's like you're wanting to take things slow. They're wanting to rush in. And I feel like it's causing some kind of disbalance here within this connection. 
trying to keep their power wants the upper hand. So it's almost like this person needs to hear that you love them. They need to get that validation. They need to know that you want them. You know, it's almost like um very like damn like they need validation and this your energy could be like damn i don't have time to validate a grown ass person you know and i'm not trying to be hateful i'm not trying to be harsh i'm not trying to be cold you know it's just damn i can't be giving you validation about how i feel about you constantly 24 7 all the time and that constant validation starts to wear down on you you know get their energy on this then spirit let's get their energy what is this person's overall energy towards the collective spirit ancestors and guides what is this person's overall energy towards the collective spirit ancestors and guides what is this person's overall energy towards the collective spirit ancestors and guides page of cups an apology an offer let's see let's see spirit what is this person's overall energy towards the collective at this time spirit ancestors and guides the fool okay that's what i'm saying wanting to rush into this head head first you know start brand new just take that risk you know and say fuck it like this person just really their overall energy towards you is just wanting to risk it all start brand new rush in head first and you know it is what it is so this person does want like some kind of new beginning or just um to take that risk with you but I feel like that's where your energy comes in because she's sitting on top of this rock hesitating like no nah, looking down like mm, that might be a little bit of a far drop right there I don't think I want to take that leap right now you know let me ease into this shit so <clears throat> yeah let's see how is this person feeling spirit how is this person feeling about the collective how is the person this person feeling this person does care about you okay the king of cups they do love you they do um wear their heart on their sleeve they are sensitive they do feel like they are in love with you okay and i feel like they show this but they are feeling like they should walk away from this connection it's like a situation where they don't want to because see how this man is looking back you know He's looking back. It's a situation he doesn't really want to walk away from. Why? Because he's truly in love with this person. But it's almost like he's just feeling like maybe it's not going to work. Or maybe y'all aren't going to get on the same page. Or maybe you don't want this the way they want this. So they're thinking about walking. They're, they feel like maybe they should just walk away. How is the collective feeling about this person? How is the collective feeling about this person? Ace of Wands. <clears throat> you are very passionate towards this person, okay? You, if you guys have had sex, you do feel that 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 desire that you feel like, hey, they're they're good in bed. Um, this is a connection that's fueled by passion, fueled by fire. It's like you do love this person you do like this person you do love this person you do fuck with this person okay and you do want this new beginning but i feel like you just kind of want to <clears throat> you don't want anything serious right now to start off with you know you don't want anything serious right now is that energy and this could be you just having your guard up because they're taking it so fast <clears throat> What is this person thinking about the collective spirit? What is this person thinking about the collective? Yeah, see, they think they think that you're being sneaky. They think that you're hiding something, okay? <clears throat> they're thinking that maybe you have somebody else that you're dealing with. And they're thinking that you're going to just shockingly end this relationship. Like, you truly don't want it, okay? So they're thinking the tower and the five of swords, that's horrible. That's terrible. 
They're thinking everything's about to come crashing down around them. They're thinking that this shit's going to be completely over. They're doing a lot of overthinking, a lot of wondering. They're thinking you might be being sneaky, sneaking around. Uh, might have somebody else, you know, on the side that you might not be telling them about, you know, and that's why you have this guard up. And they think that there's that they're gonna find out something shocking about you, um, and it's gonna be about you being sneaky. So like really, your energy of you having your guard up is based on them just like trying to rush rush this. But they're over here. This is why they end up having those mixed feelings because they're over here thinking that your guard is up because you literally have somebody else that you might be dealing with. And so maybe even though they care about you and they want this, maybe they should walk away. What is the collective thinking about this person, spirit? The world. You're thinking maybe you should close out this cycle and move forward or begin a new cycle, okay? It's one of the two. Yeah, you could just be thinking about moving on and moving forward, okay? Because, like, maybe this person is moving too fast. This could be just stressful, okay? What's the outcome here, spirit? Oh, happiness. Luminosity. It's almost like... Let me get one more for clarity on that. Okay, yeah, see, here's your guard up, okay, once again, and this is going to, like, Spirit is saying, if you keep your guard up with this person like this, it is going to lead to you being sad, of you having to let go of this person and move on, because Spirit wants you to know you've manifested this person, and this person can bring a lot of balance into your life, and this happiness that you desire, but it's almost like, you have to like look at things differently or start looking at the world differently or look at this situation differently because you have manifested this, whether you like it or not, you've manifested this situation. The situation is going to bring you some balance, but spirit is also sending a warning here that if you continue to have that guard up, you know, now they're going to be unsure of your motives. And I feel like you do really like this person. You just ha feel like it's moving too fast. And that's where this, this sadness is going to end up coming into your energy this morning, this sense of loss. You know, what's under that? Yeah, nine of swords, sleepless nights, anxiety, stressed about the situation. Because this person truly wants to three of pentacles come in and build with you and have something with you. And you're going to be up thinking about what you could have had, what got away because of the fact that you've been guarded and that you've been hurt and your outlook on love and the things that you've been done put through. You could be missing out on something really good that's going to bring stability and happiness and all the manifestations you've been looking for by being in this energy here. Okay. All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.